pressure to get here. There were doctors involved. <coughs> Riley's been bedridden. Oh, <laughs> the bed. <laughs> Twice. But we're here and we're so excited. We're about to dive with 10 to 20 of the biggest fish in the world. It all ended up in life jackets. heard about this sacred spot off the coast of Panita Island, where these ginormous creatures hang out, and we couldn't resist a trip here. We left our new boat being built in Vietnam recently. We're two and a half months away from launching her. It had kind of come to the point where there wasn't much rally or I could do for a few weeks until new boat parts had arrived to the factory. So it was decided that we'd leave for an adventure someplace new. We cannot wait to share this insane experience with you guys and stick around for the trimaran update. A fair few things have happened even since we've left. From the video, it looks like it sits in there just perfectly. Our mate Wayan has just said that it was so crazy yesterday and they're thinking that the same thing will probably happen today. The weather's just not playing ball at the moment. It's going to rain a lot, my friends. There is the heaviest purplest cloud over there and it's gonna come down at some stage. We headed to the mangroves where we'd board this dive boat. We were still unsure if we'd make it out to our desired dive site today with the weather forecast. It's raining. But we were going to attempt it. No one bought any waterproof like bag covers or anything. Actually, you did, Forrest, didn't you? Yeah, it's the first time in my life I've been organised. Look at that. Check it out. Alright, well, let's hope our cameras survive this thing. Luckily, we'd be in great company this week. Forrest, who you've also met during our Patreon regatta, he is a frequenter of Lembongan and he was around the area, so we were like, hey, come on a, on a trip with us. <laughs> <laughs> Last night I had a smoothie from seaweed grown here on the island and this morning we're actually able to see the farms. We're wondering what these farms were, some kind of agriculture, but it's very clear that there is green mossy things above the surface and it is indeed seaweed. And I ate it last night and it was, was just, delicious. We were just chatting about it in the car and you were like, oh, it could be seaweed. And Lana's like, oh yeah, I had one of them in a smoothie last night. <laughs> Look at this guy, can't help himself. <laughs> Come on, this head's a ship shape, eh? <laughs> <laughs> After navigating through a minefield of seaweed farms, we hit the open ocean. It felt so good to be out at sea, even if it was on a fuel-guzzling motorboat. The sun's just come out! Yeah! So one of these boats sank the other day. Okay guys, this is Island. How many can we expect to see? Ten and more. Okay, yeah. how big can they get? Three meters. Are they mostly male or female or both? This is uh, male. Mostly male? Yes. Cool, all right, let's do it. A squall was about to come over our heads, but we knew it was now or never. We're about to be hit with water. What a day, hey? Visibility, oh my God. There's only a few months out of each year that you can actually see these giants in this area. I can't see anything yet. Amazing. These creatures are super elusive. In all the eight years we've been sailing and diving, we've only seen or swam with them a handful of times.
manta rays are indeed considered a fish. They're the most gentle giants. Their flat, diamond-shaped bodies are so unique and their wingspans can be up to 8.5 metres wide. Fun fact, they actually have the largest brains and brain-to-body ratio of all fish. There are two different manta ray species, the reef manta ray and the oceanic manta ray. Indonesia is home to both and I cannot believe we were lucky enough to swim with six at one point. We are so high on life at the moment, we just got out of the water. I can't believe how friendly those mantas were. Like yeah. they did not care at all that we were swimming with them. In fact, I think one of them looked at me. We were mates for a whole, <laughs> we were uh, for a whole of five seconds. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was interacting with me. I kept going like this with my fingers and it came like really close and it was just looking at me. It was amazing. When we arrived, the water's really rough and then a massive rain cloud came over. And I was just thinking, oh my God, what have we gotten ourselves into here? And then we were swimming along, we didn't see any for a bit. And then about six or seven just appeared out of nowhere. It was just gorgeous. How was your freedom? You haven't been in a while. Better than I thought. Yeah, you yeah. looked good. Oh, you. <laughs> you did. You looked good as well. Oh, darling. thank you. <laughs> it is rough. <laughs> and I think I got a boogie. <laughs> What about you, Forrest? How was your day? I am so stoked. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was incredible. I thought they might be like a little bit shy, but they just cruise by and look you in the eye and just, I don't know, it was insane. Yeah, you worry, don't you? Because you might be disturbing them. That's always on my mind when we're going and doing things like this, that you could tell that they were... You could go down and they just, they wouldn't feel like they needed to change their path. They'd just like do a drive by right past. <laughs> We're reminded of the fact that we're in monsoon season right now. We headed back to Lambongan Island full of adrenaline. We've all ended up in life jackets. able to confirm that the difficult journey and days leading up to this dive was worth it after all. Okay, do we have everything? I don't know. Do we have everything? I'm hot. Me too. <laughs> For a time there, I was convinced the universe was trying to tell us something, like it was really trying to stop us from going on this dive. The problem was, as we left our little rental we've set up in Bali and headed towards the ferry dock in Sanua, where we'd then motored to Lembongan Island where we'd be staying and eventually hop on a tiny dive boat out to Manta Point, Riley's stomach was really starting to cause some dramas. And I'd heard the first signs of croup cough from Lenny, which made me feel super uneasy because I'd forgotten his medicine that would stop his throat swelling. I knew there was a small clinic on the island where we were headed if we needed medical supplies, so I chose to carry on with a brave face rather than be a worry ward. Lembongan would be where we'd stay for five nights and dive with these mantas. We just stopped off and grabbed a coffee by one of the cafes here in Sanua by the beach. It's been like weeks since we've seen the beach. I've really missed it. And we're about to hop on our ferry to Lembongan. Have you missed the beach too? Yeah. Do you want to go on the beach? Yeah, that's what we're going to do in Lembongan. Riley's got barley there belly go. and he's sick as a dog today. I just had a charcoal tablet, no, it's fine. It's fine. but it's not it's working. Fine. So we made it, the trip wasn't too rough. I was out the back though, I don't know how anyone was sitting inside, it was so hot in there. All the luggage is coming off the boat, we're all just hanging out here, gonna grab that and then find the new place that we're gonna stay. As you can see here, we checked into our villa. We were actually the only ones here, if we're not counting the rats that were in our room. We haven't even checked into our room yet and you're swimming. 
Riley, what do you think of the buggy? It's a bit uh, outlandish, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let me get you the keys. Elena's going to try and film an athletic greens ad, and I'm going to try and crash the car. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Lying. Oh my god. No peoples or buggies was harmed in the filming of this advert. Which today is Athletic Greens. Super easy to make. Oh babe, you break the car. Take it easy on the corner. <laughs> you really just mix one scoop or one travel pack, which is what I have here, with every eight ounces of water. You just shake and drink. We drink this stuff on and off camera, really, every single day. AG1 is oh. <laughs> Based on what science indicates is essential for human health, it's Riley approved. Definitely supports your energy levels. I can tell Riley's had too many this morning. Your immunity and your gut health. Future Elena jumping in here with a voiceover to help out distraught crow's nest head. Past Elena trying to deliver you facts. The facts are AG1 contains all that is essential for human health. So we know we're being looked after. And we really think this is a great gift you can give to yourself. We were able to forget buying and cutting around various containers of pills and we can now bridge the gap in our daily nutrition with this truly delicious formula with whole food sourced ingredients. If you're yet to try Athletic Greens for the first time ever they're going to give you 10 whole travel packs for free as well as a year's supply of their vitamin d3 and k2 with your first purchase you can just head to hey <laughs> athleticgreens.com forward slash slv or click the link in the description box below we took this sick little buggy around noosa lembongan island a popular yet relatively quiet island with three villages there's a beautiful yellow bridge connecting this island to another, only wide enough for scooters to go across, really. This will probably be the image I remember this place by. Actually, no, it's gotta be the giant mantas. Immediately, we were impressed by the coastal cliff sides, bright white sandy beaches, and picturesque beach clubs and restaurants. We really don't want this movie to be about just Riley being sick, but that's very much so how it started out. Our whole day has revolved around poor little really? Riley. I haven't said it once. He had a nap back at the hotel. Our hotel's so beautiful. We're the only ones there. So peaceful. I even got some time to read my book. Riley slept. The kids ran around like mad. And we're just going out to grab some food now. Riley hasn't eaten all day, so he's very hungry. This is how dinner's going. It's a massive school and we can't even sit down anymore. Like most holidays, when you're booking them a couple weeks in advance, you just can't predict what the weather might be like. We were hoping that this would all clear by tomorrow, when we were supposed to head out on the tiny motorboat to see the mantas. The satellite images weren't looking too flash. Also, tonight would be the night Lenny would surprise us, becoming so sick very quickly. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't get the chocolate. There you go, have some of that. Today has been a complete failure. So annoyed at myself for not bringing his medicine. Anyway, called the doctors this morning. They came around, prescribed him more prednisone, luckily. That was so lovely. Got him sorted out, had to cancel our manta ray trip today, but it's been moved to tomorrow. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get in the water with these beautiful creatures. We've been diving with manta rays back in Exmouth most recently with our friends Jack and Fran, and before that in the Galapagos Islands, and we've seen them on occasion. They are the most incredible creatures. They actually have unique patterns on their belly, which are super hard to see, because you obviously have to be underneath them, and they're like alien creatures, so to get underneath them, you need to be a pretty good swimmer and not afraid of them at all. They're super chill creatures. They're not really scary, except for when they sneak up behind you and their mouths are open wide which has happened to me you really think they're gonna swallow you and on top of that these really are one of my favorite creatures I think they're actually only one of four animals in the world and correct me if I'm wrong please that can actually recognize their own reflection in a mirror what yeah so I was super disappointed today but what's a holiday without a few dramas it's gonna be worth the wait and my babies come first both Lenny and Riley <laughs> who are sick Okay, I just had to Google because I was super curious if that was correct or not about manta rays being only one of four species that have passed the mirror test. But I found out it's actually seven species that have passed. Apes, elephants, dolphins, orcas, magpies, ants, and mac... 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 I don't know, I don't know what that is. Mm, I can't even say it, I'm so embarrassed. Have all managed to pass the test. Now, new research from the University of South Florida at Tampa have added a new species to the list. Manta rays. How you going? Oh, I've been better. Go on. 
tell me everything. <laughs> I'm sleeping all night and then for three and a half hours in the middle of the day as well. So my body is just exhausted. Lenny's got croup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're better tomorrow. Of course, I'll be fine soon. We just figured out what that word was. It's a macaw. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> I was going to say Marquesas or something. A Marquesa. <laughs> a Maquacker? <laughs> oh, it's a... I thought it was a bird. <laughs> it's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monkey. It's not a freaking macaw. But it, it it is a macaw though. I think you're gonna pronounce that macaw. It's just not a bird. And that is how you spell macaw. Exactly as it sounds. There you go, everyone. Yeah, that's phonetic. That's dumb. Where, where's a? So how do you pronounce it? Maybe it is a macaca. <laughs> Marquesas. Macaques. <laughs> okay. Macaques. Mm, that's disappointing. I don't like that. I think we should change it. Macaques. Motion to change it to McKees. Yeah, it's kind of like monkeys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. Macaques. Let's get out of here before I macaques my towel. <laughs> for how much fun I'm having when you're feeling so shitty right now. But I'm gonna live it up, baby! <laughs> So we survived that gnarly boat trip back from the Manta Dive, you'll be pleased to know. We're still so glad we didn't bring Lenny along like we'd initially planned. Okay, here's Mama jumping in. I can't even imagine. Anyway, it was so great to spend okay. some time with the boys, showing them the in. footage of the giants we, we swam alongside earlier that day. Oh, uh, what do we see? A manta ray. Look at your mum, she's crazy. What's it doing? It's swimming <laughs> No, the she's a manta. Mama's fine. Mama's swimming. Here's one with Dad. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's okay. Dad, it was swimming. Look at Dad swim. They just could not care less. Could they? <laughs> There's less than a thousand of them. They're overfished. Uh, commercial and artisanal fisheries. We just got to swim with six. Like, that's a lot. If there's only a thousand. Yeah, it's half a percent. Because of their shape, they're particularly prone to getting caught in nets. So Wikipedia is using references from IUCN, which listed them as vulnerable in 2019 and the giant manta is endangered in 2020. I hope our kids will have a chance to swim with them when they're a bit older. Yeah, uh, there's honestly a chance that they won't. Well, I hope you guys will be more interested in this trimaran update than our kids were to see those mantas. We're about to receive an update, the first update we've got since we left the boat a couple of weeks ago. And hopefully no shocks from us. Hopefully it's all good news. We're just dry the dinghy oh, it's not so wide. It fits in there nicely. Wow. Okay, that looks pretty good from down below, from that angle. Okay, so they haven't cut into the back of the boat yet for the dinghy mount. From the video, it looks like it sits in there just perfectly. It's gonna like make the boat look a bit longer too. Even though technically it's not, but like looks like a good a good size. What else? We've been working in the aft bathroom, similar to the forward bathroom. We place all the bulkheads and furniture, and then we've been painting. So the guys have been in here sanding the undercoat. We've taken a break from sanding while we've been fitting the basin box sail drive leg. We have the steering in behind here, and then the sail drive leg in behind the bathroom, where you can see aft cabin bunk, aft bathroom. The so dagger board has been machined to shape and we've just been hand sanding, finishing the shape, getting it ready to do the next model lamination. And this week we've had Derek from Ocean Bowl here, so underneath the aft bunk we've made the area and we're going to be fitting the uh, Ocean Bowl drive leg today. We've got the steering box sitting in place here. So after receiving drawings from Dylan, we're now making one of the mounting panels for the engine bay for all the master connection and the distribution regulators. Thanks for that little update, Mark. We'll be heading back to La Vagabond the third in a couple of weeks and you'll be shocked to see where we end up and what we end up doing. <laughs>
after a series of events, including one of us getting stuck in a foreign country by ourselves. We'll update you all soon in our Monday videos. Cheers, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment.